Sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check. Let's do that one again. <laughs> Welcome to 30 Days of Photoshop. Today, we're gonna show you how to crop, resize it, and even add more information to your images. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, as a part of our 30 days of Photoshop series, we're showing you the amazing crop tool in Photoshop. Now, obviously we can use the crop tool to change the aspect ratio of our image. Maybe if we have a wide image, we can go to a square format, but we can also use this tool to add more information to our photograph, which would be perfect if you wanted to turn it into a vertical banner or other type of image for another type of display. This tool is incredibly powerful and simple to use. We got a great tutorial. Let's jump into Photoshop. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our image for today's tutorial. Now, if you haven't already done so, you can download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Let's click on F4 full screen. We're gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna to go to my crop tool. So let's hit C for the crop tool or you can click right over here. Now we're gonna go through the different options for the crop tool. At the very top left, you're gonna see a little ratio button here and this is where you can choose your own ratio. For instance, if you wanna choose a one to one square ratio, this is where we choose that. Now, a lot of the like most common ratios are built into uh, built into the presets here, but you can actually just go type in your own. So if you want a ratio and you want a one to a 1.25 ratio, you can do that right here as well. Okay, so that ratio, let's just hit undo there. That ratio now is kind of like plugged in to my crop tool. So you can see it's vertical now. I can actually switch that here to go to a horizontal ratio, okay? And with my crop, I can simply grab any of my corners and crop this up or down. Now, if I go a little bit to the left, you can see my vertical and horizontal ratio shifts a little bit. Now, you can also hold Alt or Option to just crop around the midpoint if you'd like. There we go. So it's not gonna try to move around with the rest of your image, just the crop is gonna move. Now, I'm gonna hit Escape before we do any type of cropping. I very highly recommend getting this Delete Crop Pixels. Make sure that's unchecked, okay? Because if I decide to check that, let's say I do a crop there and hit enter, well, I've lost all that information. So I'm gonna try to get back that information there. I'm gonna just click and drag out again. And well, unfortunately it's totally gone. So whatever we're using the crop tool, I wanna make sure the delete crop pixels is not checked. Let's go ahead back in time. We're gonna make sure this is unchecked and we can continue to move forward. Now we do have some interesting tools built into the crop tool. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my ratio here so you can just kind of like create whatever crop you'd like. There we go, let's hit escape. We have a straighten tool, which will actually allow you to click and drag on a horizon. In this case, we don't have a very clear horizon, but let's just say uh, our image was rotated. Let's say it was rotated a little bit off <laughs> and you wanted to straighten it up. You could simply click and drag on the horizon and it would automatically straighten out your image. Of course, you can just click out here and rotate your image there as well. All right, let's go ahead and hit enter. Now I have cropped my image a little bit smaller. I can click there and you can see basically this is the rest of my photograph. This is actually available here in our settings. So this crop shield is where we can actually see the rest of our photograph. You can change the color to match your canvas and you can even change the opacity of whatever's around there, okay? So if you wanna see just a slight preview of the rest of the crop, this is how we do it. All right, let's go ahead and inch that checkbox right up there. Now, at this point, I do, I have cropped into my image, but I've got a lot of information that's like outside of my photograph, right? And it's rotated a little bit. I'm gonna go to image and then down to reveal all. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna show me everything that I have back in my image again, which is really, really helpful. Now, I'm just gonna hit undo a couple times because I don't need a rotational crop around my image. There we go. And here we are back to our original photograph. Let's continue through our different settings. Here at the very top, we have a few different options for how we'd like our crop shield display. For instance, we can use the rule of third, which can actually help us create a better composition. You can do things like the golden ratio as well, or even like the golden spiral, which will help you choose a focal point. For instance, if I wanna make this area a focal point, I could use the golden spiral, something like that, to help that area become a focal point. 
There we go. Maybe we'll bring that down and bring this up a little bit. So the idea would be your eye would travel along there and wind up here. Now, in this case, our composition doesn't really support the golden spiral. So I would probably just use a rule of thirds and try to break up my image into the you know mountains being on the bottom two thirds. There we go. And then the sky being on the top two thirds. So go ahead and click our little checkbox up there. And you can see how these tools can actually help with your composition. Now you can actually resize your image as you crop as well, simply by typing the dimensions you'd like into the little ratio boxes. So here where we see ratio, for instance, if I go to a one to one square ratio and hit that checkbox up there, if it just says one to one, this is going to just change the aspect ratio of your image, but it doesn't resize it. To do so, you can go right up here where it says ratio and type in width and height resolution. So you can use pixels up here. You can actually use inches too. I'm going to type in 10 space IN, 10 space IN, and this is going to be 10 inches by 10 inches. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit larger. There we go and hit enter. And what this is going to do, not only is it going to apply the crop itself, but it's going to make this document 10 inches by 10 inches. We'll go to image and then down to image size. And right over here, you can see that it in fact did resize the image itself to 10 inches by 10 inches. So not only can you change resolutions, I'm just going to undo that. <laughs> you can change resolutions, but you can also change the size of the document itself. Now, last but definitely not least, if you want to add more information to your photograph, you can actually use content aware crop, which will read the information in your photograph and it'll actually allow you to extend your canvas. Now, keep in mind, the simpler your image, the easier this is going to be on the software and the more realistic your results are going to be. So if you have a very complex background, it might struggle a little bit and I would only recommend extending it a little bit. But if you have a simple background like we do here, you'll actually be able to get away with quite a bit of an extension. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to grab our crop tool and up here at the top, I'm going to check content aware. So that's our first checkbox there. Let's go ahead and just clear everything else. OK, and click on our image. Now, in this case, what I want to do is actually add more information up top. There we go. I'm still using kind of like the uh, there we go. Uh, two thirds ratio. So this time it's going to be two thirds sky with one third ground. Now, all this information doesn't exist at all. But when I hit this checkbox, what it's going to do is change my crop and figure out exactly what needs to go up there. Now, in this case, it's going to be relatively simple because it's a blue sky. But we're actually going to be able to add information to the top of our photograph and check that out. All of this information up here was automatically generated by the content aware crop. Now let's go ahead and undo that and let's see if we can go a little bit wider. We're going to just click and drag this from the left to the right and see how it does. Simply adding more information to our photograph. There we go. And that's actually pretty incredible. All of this information here was added with this tool. So here in the before basically ended right here. And in the after all this information was added, let's go ahead and try it on the left side as well. I'm going to just pull it a little bit further and see how the tool does. So it ended right here, right about there. And then all this information was dynamically generated by this tool. Now, it's not 100% perfect. You can kind of tell that it just repeats over and over again. But with a little bit of clone stamp work and a little bit of adjustments, you could definitely get away with extending your image. Let's go ahead and extend it up just a little bit there as well and see how that does. So these tools are incredibly powerful because it happens all the time. Look at that. We just added probably like 20% more information to this photo using content aware crop. So traditionally cropping was just used to scale down your images and reduce the amount of space they take up. Now you can use the crop tool to add more information. This is incredibly handy, especially if you have images that you want to print at different resolutions. If you need just a little bit of space on either side, you can do this and properly fill the resolution of your print. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying 30 days of Photoshop. If you haven't already done so, be sure to join us. It's absolutely free. You'll get all the sample images so you can follow right along a calendar and some bonus extras. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.